Welcome back to the Green Yard and to another beautiful spring day here in Phoenix, Arizona. It's actually May, so happy May, everybody. Um, and we have a growing video today, a growing update video for you. Um, this video is a little bit difficult, and the reason is because I can't figure out where to film this video. You know, uh, if I should film it at this location, or if I should film it over here, or if I should film it in this spot right here, or if I should film it up here, or if I should film it here. Now, this is the ultimate spot that I picked. And part of the reason is because of just above me, there are some beautiful, beautiful passion fruit flowers coming out. Uh, it's passion fruit flower season every spring at least starting last year, we get these beautiful passion fruit flowers. They are one of the most amazing flowers that I've ever seen. And in fact, this year, uh, our passion fruit has taken over. It's taken over everything, which is why it was so hard for me to figure out where to film. Because it does extend uh, probably 60 feet or so along the outside of our shed, up into our trees, uh, along the... Uh, backside of our uh, tropical food forest so this vine has taken over and extended a really long way now I knew that going into it so I planted it with that in mind um, and last year we did get a few passion fruits but let's talk a little bit about growing a passion fruit vine here in the Phoenix area here we go varieties of passion fruit here in the green yard we have our purple possum uh, which ends up creating a, a medium-sized purple fruit uh, it's a little bit on the sweeter side I've noticed than some of our other passion fruits and that's what this big huge vine is this is actually our oldest passion fruit in the green yard it was planted I actually took it out of our previous yard and brought it into the green yard so it has been through those three winters going into its third summer and it's been doing really well um, because I did take it out uh, of our old yard it did take an extra year to fruit typically they will fruit in that uh, first or second year in the ground depending on how they grow this one fruited uh, last year um, but I've owned it for uh, four years already Passion fruit vines tend to have a shorter life cycle. They typically only live five to seven years. Seven years is kind of that maximum. So I am actually planning on taking some of uh, these branches and trying to root some cuttings. So if you guys have ever experienced or had experience or success with rooting uh, passion fruit vine cuttings, it'd be great to hear from you because I definitely want to continue the lineage of this plant uh, since it's probably gonna die in the next few years anyways. I like the look of it. It took over a little bit too much this year. It's kind of all in our mulberry tree all over everywhere, but I'm okay with it. It actually helps to provide more of that shade, that afternoon shade to some of our tropical trees. So it works out really well. And you can't go wrong with these blossoms here. I also like the fruit a lot. Um, last year I took the purple possum fruit, the five or six that we had, ended up putting it into uh, my smoothies in the morning. Now in the green yard, we do have another variety as well. So we have our purple possum, then we also have our yellow uh, passion fruit, which is very similar to, uh, I know in Peru, they call it maticuya. Uh, it's a drink, um, it, much, much more on the sour side than our purple possum. So we do have that passion fruit vine as well over uh, along that wall, that um, west facing wall of the green yard, actually providing shade for those tropical uh, trees over there. But let's talk about the position that we need 
uh, our main trunk of the passion fruit vine to be in here in Phoenix. So you notice there's a lot of passion fruit here blocking out that west evening sun. Like I mentioned before, a loquat for some reason wants to grow into that sun, which is fine with me. We have our santal tree here doing a little bit better uh, with that afternoon sun, still putting off that new growth. So I'm excited to see that. Here's our Michaelia alba. And then here in kind of this barren spot, which is another reason I want to do cuttings and put these back in. But this is actually where that passion fruit vine has its main trunk. So its main trunk is actually right down here, these big, huge vines. So this is main trunk here uh, over in the food forest part of the green yard. This actually gets shade pretty much all day long. And that's really what we need for those passion fruits. So um, the trunk itself needs to be planted in a place that's shaded. And then it has to have the ability to grow up into that direct sunlight. Um, so that's how you get the most success with these passion fruit vines is by uh, planting the trunk itself in the shade and then allowing that passion fruit vine to climb and climb and climb and climb into our full sun. They do actually like and want our full sun. So that is something that we want to see, but the trunk itself needs to be in the shade. And so this is our other variety here as well. This is our yellow passion fruit and same thing. You'll see the trunk here much thicker than the rest of them. This one's only uh, a year and a half old, I believe. And then I let the vine itself grow up into the sun and it's actually shading our Jabba de Caba, shading our papaya and our soursop and providing that extra protection. All right, so our passion fruit vines are heavy feeders. They do like to eat a lot. Um, I almost compare them to bananas and how much organic material they like to consume. So um, they'll definitely enjoy any compost you put on there fish emulsion, fertilizer. Um, they do require that lower pH though, so definitely make sure to lower that pH with that agricultural sulfur first to allow the plant the opportunity to take up those nutrients that you're adding to it. Um, you can see right here behind me too, we have one of these beautiful passion fruit flowers. They really are an all around great plant to have here in the Phoenix area. Uh, they are a vine and they can grow and take over like you've seen. Uh, I'm okay with it here in the green yard. They actually help provide a lot of protection that I otherwise wouldn't have. Uh, you can see behind me here, this is actually dual purpose. So it's not only for that afternoon shade that I mentioned before for our, our fruiting and flowering trees, it's also our neighbor's yard is right behind me. And this fence is only about four feet high. So this privacy hedge of passion fruit has actually given us another two feet or so of uh, privacy from our neighbors here in the food forest part of the green yard. So that's been really amazing. Um, they take our full sun. I haven't had to cold protect our passion fruit at all either so they really do like our phoenix climate as long as you plant the the trunk in kind of a shady area um with one of the other benefits besides the beautiful flowers and the fruit uh, i think it's a benef benefit other people think it's a pest but we do have um the passion fruit butterflies as well uh, i can't remember the scientific name of them right now but they are a red butterfly that generally come late spring into the summer and fall and they do lay a lot of eggs a lot of caterpillars on our passion fruits but you get the pleasure of having these beautiful butterflies fly around your green yard 
uh, all the time. So in the, in the late spring and the summer here, I usually have 10 to 20 butterflies just flying all around. And for me, my passion fruit vines are so well established that I don't mind having, uh, you know, those caterpillars eat um, their way through some of the, the passion fruit vine. I have yet to find that it affects any sort of fruit production or flower production uh, here in the green yard. So definitely an added benefit in my opinion as well. Uh, but that's a little bit, a little short video about growing a passion fruit vine here in Phoenix, Arizona. I definitely recommend doing it if you need a, a little bit of privacy or if you feel uh, or love passion fruit flowers or passion fruit, they are super easy to grow here in Phoenix area. So. As always, live green, plant lots, and of course have fun. We'll see you next time.